All right, so the tab index property. Uh, basically, this is another property that e you should pay a lot of attention to because it's going to be basically in every program you design from here on out. And it's uh, pretty well tied up to the access key, so uh, but it can also like stand out on its own. Okay, so uh, what is the tab index property? Well, I mean, if you if you have already dealt with forms in Windows, you will probably know that if you're typing in a text box and then you want to switch over to the next text box, suppose you're typing in your first name and you want to switch over to the la your last name text box or your address or whatever, uh, you can hit tab and it generally goes to the next text box on whatever you can um, input something and that's not originally designed like um, the programmer has to uh, specify the index of each each control on the form which has some sort of input uh, so that uh, so the index basically selects which tab or which um, text box or button to select when you hit tab from any one place so um, the tab index property basically determines in which the order in which a control receives uh, focus or which goes into primary mode like wherever you put your input when the tab key is pressed and the tab index starts with zero and then counts up one two three four etc etc um, it uh, the program itself assigns uh, a default order to its controls uh, whenever it's like you know initiated but that's generally not um, a good order you have to go in and look at the tab index properties and change it according how you want um, each control to be indexed basically um, and um, uh, I mentioned the term focus so focus basically means whichever button or control or whichever control uh, by control I meaning like anything which can uh, accept some input like a text box or button is currently um, the thing uh, which is focused on meaning that if it's a text box then there will be the cursor on it uh, if it's a button then there'll be a weird looking border around that button so that thing is now in focus um, and you can uh, there's two ways of uh, viewing the tab index for each control you can go to the property window for the control and look up its tab index or you can go to the view menu and uh, click tab order to see what is the index for each control um, so for the um, form which we are talking about uh, the figure here shows the different um, indexes or the tab indexes for all the controls in the form uh, you will see that um, the labels ha are generally indexed with uh, 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 the labels generally come before the text box so why does this happen well because um, when you hit a when you hit a access key uh, it generally automatically goes to the next control which can uh, accept some sort of input so you hit if you hit alt 0 it will first go to the label and see that the label does not accept any input so it will directly go to 1 so if you hit uh, suppose if you hit 4 here alt 4 it will go to the city label and see the sit label does not accept input so it will go to directly to 5 and same for the tab so if you're in um, tab index 1 which is the text box for the property name and you hit the tab it's gonna go to the next index but see it's a label and then go into in index number 3 which is the next text box which can actually, actually um, have some input and so uh, this is a very good way of designing or indexing your tab or sorry indexing your form and how to control the order well the instructions are given in the slide 
uh, and uh, but I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to uh, see or view your tab order and maybe change it to how you want it to be.